Coming up tomorrow, it's the annual Halloween party in the Oregon District in downtown Dayton. Organizers estimate about 15,000 people attended the event last year, bringing in 40 to 50 thousand dollars for the Oregon District Business Association. Tonight, Jordan Burgess is looking into this year's anticipated impact. He joins us now live with the story. Hi, Jordan. Well, one person I talked with estimated the economic impact at $1.5 million. Now that could buy you a lot of scream masks. We looked at what it takes to scare up that kind of money and the effort that keeps HauntFest from becoming a ghost of itself. The most frightening thing about HauntFest, it has to be the costumes. They could make great costumes, they're very creative. But that wasn't always the case. Back when the Halloween party in the Oregon district was called Boo and Brew, sometimes there was as much troublemaking as merrymaking. It really got to be just a drinking party, and it just was not what we wanted in the district. Since that time, about six years ago, the party has undergone what amounts to a costume change of its own. You'll see the place decorated with fences to make it easier to control the party. And as people have come back, they're like, this is so cool. It's so different than it used to be, and it's fun. Now, 25000 is spent on security. This year, police will patrol the neighborhood section of the Oregon District until the mid-morning hours on Sunday. It's like we get to live in a gated community for a week and, or, you know, for a day and feel like we're getting the royal treatment. That partnership with the neighborhood is what kept HauntFest from joining the ranks of the walking dead. Organizers tell me no one's been arrested at the event in the last three years. It's safe as can be. That safety is what organizers hope will bring people back to the Oregon District and its businesses, even when people have moved on from their costumes. And I think it brings folks down to downtown and shows what a good job that we've been doing in the downtown region. And it's not only the businesses there that will benefit. The Oregon District Business Association and a host of other nonprofits use the event as a fundraiser. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News.